Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at uh, this Tatra 813. Uh, this one has just been released by uh, the same guy that made the MTVR 8x8. His name is, I think, uh, Ariel and uh, Zidon. And they made it together. Um, yeah, it looks really nice. And there's a really a lot of cool add ons. Um, it has a bucket at the front you can actually operate you can actually uh, lift it or lower it and you can have a different angle on it so it's pretty nice to play around with and what else do we have and one other thing is a lifter so you can actually uh, you can operate this one as well same as the bucket but this one also has an, uh, yeah, sort of uh, grab on it, so you could put something on the bottom and then put it down, and yeah, so you can grab it with that. Um, let's see what else there is. Yeah, so you can install a dude, <laughs> so someone actually driving it. Um, well this one is really cool as well, so you can actually have this carriage on the back and then you can open this door so you can pull in another truck with this winch over here. Uh, you can extend these plates as well. Uh, this is really nice as well, so you can put this up so your truck or whatever you have inside uh, doesn't move as much. And what is this lift extend? Oh yeah, that's for the front. Okay, let's see what else is there. Yeah, you have a normal carriage for lumber, I think. A garage, carriage. Uh, this doesn't do anything. This one carries uh, short locks as well. And yeah, you can have a cart with a crane, just a normal one like all the other trucks have. And then you can have the, the medium sized one and the long one on the back. But uh, first, I want to try and play around with this bucket. And I'm gonna use this rescue carriage and there is a UAZ here actually that's so let's try to winch that on the back position in the front and it's way far back something like that okay open the rear door extend the Extension. Um, put a winch on. Oh. Uh, it's really nice that they added there a winch point over there. Uh, auto steering. Let's just pull it in. Hopefully I don't. Uh, I need to position it a bit better. Wait. forget that even though it lights up red okay like that now put a winch on come on hmm, doesn't like it when I go that close with the camera like this then okay now let's try again There we go. Now, could, let's see if that actually helps if I the wheel blocker. Oh, I'm standing on the wheel blocker now. Well, let's not use that then. Put the door, door back up. 
Okay. Let's see. Oh, parking brake again. Well, you have to drive really careful with this thing on the back. I think it's better for a, a Jeep that's already damaged and it doesn't matter anymore. Let's go all the way left here. Yeah, that's... It, it takes a lot of damage actually. So. I think I'm gonna leave it behind here for now. It's a nice uh, feature to have. Let's just drive it off. There we go. I'll drive around for a bit now. It's like the MAZ with uh, a two drive as well. The front two wheels here. But I think it has a, bit, a little bit better suspension than the MAZ. It's to handle uh, more better in the train. a bit faster as well, I think. Let's see where we're going. Can't see. Let's go left here. Yeah, and the bucket in front, I'll show you guys in a bit. You can yeah, lower it and shuffle uh, rocks like over there. Put it down here. Try to some rocks out of the way. Let's see. The only thing that's kinda too bad is that you can't operate the bucket and drive at the same time. But that's just a, yeah, one of the limitations that the game has. Let's see. Like so. Push the rocks ahead of you. You can actually pick them up as well, I think. Let's see, I don't know the last position. So it would be nice to be able to operate it while you're driving so you can have it leveled with the ground all the time. So now we have some in the front. Let's drive a bit forward. And so now we have a rock in the bucket. Oh, need to get used to uh, operate this. Ah, and as you can see, it's really strong in the, in the mud as well. Even driving over rocks, no problem. rocks pushing in front of me, still going, there goes the tree. Yeah, so this bucket is really fun to just plow things out of the way with. No! Okay. Well, let's leave this one here for now and uh, I'll switch to the other one and I'll show you drive around with some lumber on the back. Um, 
put the dude in. Well, uh, I'll put a lifter in front as well, so if we find... Oh, we can actually try to lift the jeep. Uh, let's try that. But let's uh, add the large cart as well. Reposition a bit. So we can... Uh, Go get some lumber in the bed as well, so I can show you guys how it uh, drives with the lumber on the back. Yeah, so this one you can actually pack the cart as well. If it's not stuck or something. Why doesn't it go on? It's stuck on the garage. Never seen that before. Let's ditch it. Let's uh, move away from the carriage a little bit more. It's a bit too far. Well, oh, stuck again. Let's find a flat spot. First, this isn't working. Uh, Let's park it over there. In the end, they made this mod so that you can choose whatever truck you want to replace it with, you just have to rename the XML file to the truck you want to replace it with. I guess you can do that with every mod, but they added some instructions how to do that. Okay, now let's see if it will pack. Yeah, there we go. It was just uh, stuck in the building by accident. Let's go get see if we can lift the Jeep up with the lifter on fat. It's not really in my spot now. Let's see. I'll drive the Jeep uh, on a flat spot one sec. There we go. Change back. Start the engine. The only thing I noticed about this truck is that it seems to take damage really easy, but it can have thousand. It has a thousand damage points, so it's not really an issue. Let's. Lower the crane. Let's see. Which one is it? This one? No. Oh, yeah, that's something I noticed as well. You can. Hmm. Why does it move? It seems like if you have two cranes on, then only one works. Okay, that's. that's Go back to the garage for a sec. Yes. And lose the crane. And drive it backwards. Oh. Wait. Detach, can we do that? Back. Still there. Lose that one. Let's see if it works now. Yeah, now it works. Okay, well. And if I add the crane again now?
Yeah, so now the whatever you put on first, that one works and the other one doesn't. So we'll leave it like this now since I want to use that one. And uh, let's add the car to it again. Car can break off. And position a bit so it will actually fit without getting stuck. There we go. Stays on pretty nicely. So we can put it on the shelf now. <laughs> you have to be careful driving this around. It's already almost fell off. Oh, dangling to the front. There we go. Lost. Well, I'll go get some lumber now. See how it drives with lumber on the back. Um, I know it's somewhere. Yeah, it's over there. I'll. Uh, well, let's see how this does in the water. While we're here. Don't really know the route. I'll skip ahead to the part where I can get the lumber. Okay, so here we are, lumber yard. Let's uh, position the truck and then back the trailer. See how this thing handles with some lumber on the back. Trailer. Oh yeah, wait. Let's move back first a bit more. Oh, don't go over those rocks. Have to be in the square. I stuck on the train stop with the lifter. 
There we go. Just got that uh, that little stump with the, the forklift. Locks here, so I can try to grab one with the uh, lifter as well. No matter. Yeah, no problem going up this hill. This truck is really strong. And it's the first one, first of the mods I've tried that actually can do something useful as well and carry lumber around. Oh, this is a scary road. This isn't a nice route. Let's see if we can make it up. Let's be careful, tip over. Yeah, there we go, no problem. Still save it. Uh, it's back up, I guess. A bit. Yeah, there you go. still made it. Now I'm having troubles. No, there we go again. No problem. This thing just keeps going. probably could get out of here but uh, you guys get the idea it's a really nice truck so uh, check it out I'll leave the link again in the description down below and uh, see you guys next time <laughs>